The most merciful, the most compassionate. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. When the Lord says, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, and when the bondsman says, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Allah says, Yaqulu Allah Ta'ala, Isma alayya abdi, My bondsman has spoken high of me. He is benevolent, compassionate, merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin. The master of the day of recompense. Malik Yawmiddin. And he is the sole authority on the day of judgment. On the day of reward. He is the sole authority. He is the master of the day of judgment. Now this is actually three ayat. They are all for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Praising Allah. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. You alone do we worship. And you alone do we turn to for help. Now the fourth ayah. This is actually a bond, a covenant between Allah and the bondsman. That is why you see these first three ayahs, according to the Arabic grammar, they go to make one sentence. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. Actually, this is one sentence. Although ayahs are three, Sentence is one. But in the fourth ayah, Iyaka na'bud, it's a complete sentence. Wa Iyaka nasta'im, another complete sentence. It is comprised of two sentences. O oh Allah, only thee we worship. Only thee we serve. Only thee we obey. And we shall translate it into future tense also. Because in Arabic, Muzara, it includes present and future tenses both. Only thee we worship, and only thee we shall continue to worship. Only thee we serve, and only thee we will continue to serve. Only thee we obey, and only thee we will continue to obey. And in the same manner, and only thee we ask for help, and only thee we shall ask for help. We shall not ask help, we shall not invoke any other body. We shall ask help from you and you alone. Now this is something in between the two. First three ayat for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is when the bondsman says according to this hadith, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hada ma baini wa bain abdi wa li abdi ma sal. This is between me and my bondsman. And I have granted for my bondsman what he has asked. Iyaka nasta'in. We want your help. He wants my help, I grant him my help. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Direct us on to the straight way. And then now the last three ayat, and that is why I told you I agree with the opinion of Imam Abu Hanifa that these ayat are three, not two. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Guide us on the right path. Sirat al-lazina anam ta'ale. Sentence is one. These three ayat also go to make one sentence. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem, sirat al-lazina anamta alayhim, ghairi al-maghdubi alayhim, al-abdaal-leel. The rules of Arabic grammar, they go to comprise only one sentence. Although the ayat are either two, as enumerated by a certain group, or three, as enumerated by the other people. And I am agreeing with the second opinion. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim. The way of those whom you have favored, who did not incur your wrath, who are not astray. 
صراط الذين انعمت عليهم بات اوف دوز هوم يو بلست غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين the way of those whom you have favored who did not incur your wrath who are not astray غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين who didn't have your wrath and your punishment and who didn't go astray so actually this is explaining the same thing ahdana sirat al mustaqim sirat al ladina anamta alayhim ghair al maghdubi alayhim wal dhalin and that hadith qudsi says when the bondsman says these words ahdana sirat al mustaqim sirat al ladina anamta alayhim ghair al maghdubi alayhim wal dhalin then allah says hadha li abdi wa li abdi ma asal this is for my bondsman and i grant to my bondsman what he has asked for and in the end we say ameen what does it mean o oh allah accept our request o oh allah be it as we have requested you so let it be so as we have requested you to do so that is actually ameen and that is the only difference of opinion is that some people pronounce it with a loud voice others they just pronounce it with a very low voice but we have to say ameen whether jahran or with the ikhfa but that is agreed upon that we must say it in the end of this surah al fatiha aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al muslimin wal muslimat